What is up everybody and welcome back to another flow video. This is Jacob Tucker and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to deploy your own contract to flow mainnet. So if you don't know already permissionless deployment came out and now you can deploy your own contracts on flow mainnet. Woohoo. We're all so excited. Finally the day has come. Thank you flow gods. And uh, yeah, let's just dive right into the video. So the first thing we're going to want to do to deploy your own contract is to install the Flow CLI. So if you've already done this, skip this part of the video. However, um, we need to do this in order to actually deploy our contract and also create our own mainnet account. So I'm going to leave this link in the description. Go to this link and then um, go to whatever system you're using. So if you're on Mac, go here. If you're on Linux, go here. And if you're on Windows, uh, go here. So what you're going to do is you're, for Mac, you're going to copy and paste or copy this line. For Linux, you're going to copy this line. And for Windows, you're going to copy this line. Now, once you copy uh, either one of those, you're going to want to go to your terminal. So on Windows, I'm on PowerShell. On Mac, you're going to want to be on your terminal. Um, and and uh, yeah, so what you're going to do is you're going to go there. Uh, for, I'm on Windows. I'm going to copy this line, go to my terminal, and, and paste it right there and click Enter. So it's going to install the Flow CLI for me. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully it, this should work. It'll take only a couple seconds. Boom, it's is done. And now that it's done, if you type in flow version, flow version, just like that, um, it, if it gives you back a version and a commit hash, then you know that you have completed the step successfully. Now, if for some reason it says like permission denied or something like that, make sure that on Windows you're running your terminal as an administrator. You could do that by right clicking this terminal and clicking run as administrator. Or if you're on Mac, um, or Linux, you're going to want to copy the one for Mac. So copy this one. You're going to type sudo and then then paste it like that. And that'll run it as an administrator. But of course, I'm not going to do that because it worked for me. So the next step we're going to do is to actually create in uh, uh, or a mainnet account on Flow. Now, again, if you already have an address and a private key for that address to deploy to, you can skip the section of the video. But if not, uh, make sure to tune in. So first we need to make a public and private key pair and then we'll create an address using those two. Let's do flow keys generate dash dash network equals mainnet. All right. So once we do that, it's going to create a public and private key pair for us. Now, of course, I'm showing you the, prob the private key for this. I'm never going to actually use this account. So double thumbs up or double middle fingers to all the scammers who were, you know, going to do something. I'm never going to use this account. So get, get wrecked. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to go to um, you know, your browser of choice and go to port.onflow.org. All right. Now, once you do that, you're going to want to log in with um, a, or you know, you can log in with Blockto. I'm going to log with log in with Blockto here. You can log in with any one of these accounts. Uh, I'm going to do Blockto, and I'm going to sign in to my account. Right. So I'm going to confirm, sign in, and now I'm here. And I'm going to blur out everything in the middle here because obviously I don't want you seeing all my balances. Um, yeah. Okay. So in the bottom left here, where you see advanced, click on advanced and then click on create new account. Now this is where we're going to create our new account. So copy your public key. Okay, so copy the public key, go to here, paste the public key, and then leave everything else the same. Leave the signature algorithm, leave the hash algorithm, leave the wait, click on I have reviewed, and then click submit. Now this is going to create an address uh, you know, that you can use uh, you know, you, you can click approve, and this is going to actually create your own account um, on the Flow blockchain. So we're going to sit here, um, wait for this to complete, and uh, hopefully it should be all good. And you can even, you, it's pretty cool, you can actually check out the Cadence code that's uh, doing all this in the background. Um, and uh, yeah, so also I might be wrong about this, but this might take a little bit of flow to do like very little, but if for some reason you have like basically no flow in your account, you might have to transfer like 0.1 or like one flow to your account, but it's super minimal. Okay. So boom, it did it. So now we can, um, you know, it's done. So it's actually kind of weird. I don't know why it doesn't tell you, but what you do is don't click continue yet. Scroll down and down here, we have to find where this event is. But yeah, so here we go. So it's super weird why they don't just tell you it. But if you scroll down the events, you'll see an event that says account created. So in the event that has type account created, this is your address right here. So this FFF, whatever, I got lucky, I guess, three Fs in a row. But this uh, this is your address. So uh, we're going to leave this here for now, okay? So now what we're going to do is inside of our terminal, um, we need a, some code editor. So I uh, use VS Code. So if you haven't already, maybe just install VS Code, right? And then you can type in code space dot, and that's gonna open up my VS Code uh, for me, right? 
So I have one contract today. I have a hello world.cdc contract, and this is what I'm going to be deploying to Flow Mainnet, right? Very simple contract. Just has a greeting, a change greeting function, and then initializes the greeting to Jacob is so much cooler than you, which, uh, you know, is, is true, right? So unfortunately for all of you, it is true. So go back to your terminal, type in flow init, right? And what this is going to do is actually create uh, something called a flow.json inside your project directory. Now, this is where we're going to configure some things to actually deploy our contract. So first of all, inside this contracts object, we're going to add all of our contracts. So I'm only deploying one today, but you're going to want to do this for all of your contracts. So the key is the name of the contract, and the value is the file path to get to that contract. So in this case, it's just dot slash hello world.cdc, right? Very simple. Now, again, do this for all of your contracts, all right? So you can add another one here, do another one right here, uh, but I'm only doing one, okay? Now, the next step is to add, under this accounts object right here, to add another account called mainnet account. Now, you can technically name it whatever you want. It doesn't have to be mainnet account, but I just like to keep it this way because this one was called emulator account, so why not? And then inside of here, I'm going to copy and paste something. Now, um, I hate when YouTubers copy and paste stuff because I think it's very unhelpful as the viewer, but I'm going to do that anyway because I think uh, it's important uh, and I, I don't want to type all this out. So I'm going to pause for a second so you can see all of it. Basically, what I did is I added an address key, right? And this is where we're going to put our address. So right here where it says your generated address, get rid of that and go back to Flowport, copy and paste the address you got and paste that right in here. Okay, awesome. We did it. Now inside this key, uh, you know, object, you put type hex index zero signature algorithm ECDSA PT56. Remember, we, you know, that's what we that's what we left uh, the same inside the flow port. Same with the hash algorithm, and then your private key. Um, now I'm going to copy and paste my private key. So your private key comes from the terminal, right? So copy and paste in your private key. Now, quick note, if you had already had your own account and for some reason your signature algorithm was like ECDSA, I think SECP256K1, you could put that there. Um, or if your hash algorithm was different, make sure to configure it for your account. But if you were watching this video and you made the account with me, then these are the things you're going to want to put. Okay. So sweet. Now we have our own mainnet account right there. Now, inside of deployments, you're going to say uh, mainnet, which is the network which is an object. And inside this object, you're going to put mainnet account, which is the account that we put right here. So if you named this like Jacob is, is awesome, then you would put Jacob is awesome right here. Okay. And then inside here, you're going to make an array. Now this array is all the contracts we want to deploy. So in this case, I'm putting hello world because that is the contract I want to deploy. And that maps to this right here. Um, now, quick note, if you're deploying multiple contracts and some of them import others, make sure to put these in order. So the one that you know has no imports, you would put first. And then if a contract relies on that one, you would put that after, right? So you'd make sure to deploy them in order. Okay, now once we finish this, we're going to go to our terminal and type in flow project deploy dash dash network equals mainnet, all right? And when we do that, hopefully everything should work. It's just deploying one contract uh, to mainnet account. Uh, Hello World is deploying. And if all goes well, this should work. So we're going to wait a second. We're going to cross our fingers. And hopefully we should be good to go. So crossing my fingers here. Come on, flow gods. Bless us. And it didn't work. Uh... Oh, okay. So here's a here's a helpful error, I guess. It says the account with address, uh, you know, the address we're saying, uses uh, bytes of storage, which is over its capacity. So uh, we have to actually transfer flow tokens to the account. So in order to get this to actually work, I guess, um, we have to apparently transfer flow token to the account. So I didn't know that it would cost that much, but apparently it does. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer some flow to this account, and I'm going to do that by going to my dashboard. Uh, I'm going to blur all this out so you can't see it but I'm going to click on send underneath flow balance. Um, and I'm going to send, uh, now uh, Now I'll show my screen. Um, I'm going to send it to, okay, the address. I'm going to put as w this address. And just to be safe, I'm going to transfer one flow token, but you you could be able to descend. Like I, I'm pretty sure it's like even 0.1 would be enough. In fact, I'm going to prove it to you by just putting 0.1, right? So even if you put 0.1, it'll be totally fine. So let's submit. All right, so I'm transferring flow tokens to that account. I'm going to approve. And uh, this transaction is going to, you know, take a couple seconds or whatever. I'm glad we ran into this error so that all you can, can see. 
Um, and also the reason is because, you know, the storage of an account is based on how much flow it holds. Um, invalid. Okay. So apparently the, uh, apparently the flow port's a little buggy. So I, I think, I think you have to probably put 0 0.1. I think that's the way it'll work actually. Um, so you can't put 0 0.1, you have to put 0 0.1. I'm glad we're running into all these errors together. Um, and I think it's just because, uh, they probably just didn't like when you format an argument in cadence, you have to like a uh, ufix 64 has to have like a 0 0.1 or something. Uh, so I'm assuming that's the error. Usually when it says like cadence structure argument not working, it's because you fix is broken. But anyway, so flow port team, if you're, re if you're, uh, if you're watching this video, make sure to fix that. Um, okay, cool. And it works, right? Perfect. So hopefully let's try this again. Now that we gave more storage to that account, let's deploy the mainnet. And, um, if I was correct, I think 0.1 should be more than enough to store our contract. So let's try it out. All right. So we're crossing our fingers again. Come on, flow gods, bless us up, bless us up. And it deployed successfully. Woohoo! We did it. Um, now, in order to, to really see this, what you can do is go to the flow view source. So I'll link this in, in the description. Go to flow view source.com. You can just go right there. And then you're going to click on mainnet and you can even paste in your account. So my account is right here. Paste in my account. Click go. And it should take us to our account. And you can see now there's 0.1 flow in the account because I transferred it. And here is our Hello World contract live on mainnet. So I hope this helps all of, all, you know, all of you. And uh, if it did, you know, leave a comment and uh, let me know. Um, otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. All right. Peace.